Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing several tips for hosting Thanksgiving. I'm going to share some simple appetizers and just lots of things that will help you get your home and meal ready for Thanksgiving so that you can enjoy your time with your friends and family. This video is sponsored by JCPenney, so you will see several things that will help your home to look beautiful for Thanksgiving and help you to serve your meal beautifully. So let's jump right in. The first tip that I have for you is to plan your menu well in advance and mark your calendar with tasks. That way, everything doesn't need to be done just two to three days before Thanksgiving. You can spread it out. So make your menu, and that way you can pick up non-perishable things at the grocery store, and you can look for sales. Mark your calendar with when you need to purchase the perishable things. If you have a turkey in your freezer, when you need to thaw it, if you want to brine your turkey, when you're going to do that. That leads me to my next point. Don't feel like you have to do everything yourself. I have found that people actually enjoy taking some of the burden off of the host. So if they ask if they can bring something, don't be afraid to say, hey, can you bake a pie? If they don't have time, they can always purchase a pie. Or if you want to ask someone to come over and help you with the meal that you know will be enjoyable to be around and it can be a really good time, don't be afraid to ask for help. Putting on Thanksgiving doesn't have to be overwhelming and you don't have to do it all. Something that is very helpful whenever you have company is to set the table the night before. Sometimes we have extra chairs at our table or we have an idea in our mind of how we want to set the table, but when we start putting everything together, maybe it doesn't quite work. So it's best to spend the time the night before and set the table. I got this beautiful table runner that is perfect for my decor and Thanksgiving from JCPenney, and I will have it linked below. I also got these salad plates. I love these. These would go with so many different types of decor. They go well with mine. I think farmhouse style would look really great with these, and they're perfect for Thanksgiving. I'll have them linked below. Also from JCPenney are the gray linen napkins that coordinate well with the table runner and the beautiful white serving platter, which is perfect for the turkey. JCPenney has everything you need for your table and they have lots of different styles of decor and dishes. So definitely check out JCPenney. They have everything you need to make your table look beautiful for Thanksgiving. My next helpful tip is to plan your serving dishes in advance, and you can go ahead and do your serving utensils as well. That way you know you have the proper dishes for each thing, or you have a large enough dish for your sweet potato casserole or whatever you are serving, because I have actually put things in a dish and then realize that when something was done, I didn't have a dish the right size. This is going to help you to avoid that problem. Make sure you have all of the dishes that you need. Don't be afraid to borrow a dish. You can see that I have little tags on here and you might think this is a little overboard, but I am telling you, it is so helpful. Of course, you wanna take the tags off before you have your company, but this will help you know, okay, this dish is for my sweet potatoes, this dish is for my mashed potatoes, this dish is for my green beans, and you're not looking around trying to find a dish that's big enough. Trust me, this one is really helpful. Make sure you have everything you need well in advance. Do you have enough coffee and tea mugs? Do you have enough dessert plates? If you haven't served a large meal before, it's just good to check that you have everything you need. Do you have enough utensils to cover the entire meal and dessert, or do you need to make sure that you wash them in between? 
do you have all of the coffee creamer, sugar, coffees, teas, and things that your friends and family like to drink? Just be sure to run through your meal and that way you won't be in for any surprises. Let's talk appetizers. I love a good appetizer and you are already creating a big dinner and maybe you're baking the pies too. So you want to keep it simple with the appetizers and not overburden yourself. Also, if you have the turkey and the dressing in the oven and you're trying to bake appetizers, it can be a little difficult to time everything out. So I am going to share some really simple appetizers, but they are delicious and can look really beautiful. I am using this three tier server from JCPenney and I love these plates for appetizer plates as well. This is what the set of four looks like. So one plate says family, one says together, one says home, and one says love. And you can get a few sets so that you have enough for salad and appetizers. I love these plates, so I'll link them below. So this is what I chose for appetizers. Very beautiful, lots of variety, but it didn't take too long to put together. These appetizers are so good and so simple to make. All you have to do is wash your grapes, stick a toothpick in the middle, dip them in caramel sauce, and then dip them in crushed peanuts. And of course they look like little caramel apples, perfect for Thanksgiving. They don't take a lot of time. And again, you have things in your oven so you don't have to worry about baking anything. And then just a variety of crackers, cheeses, some meats, and maybe some fruit. That's all you really need. I have prosciutto, a variety of crackers, smoked gouda, and then goat cheese that has cranberries and some blackberries. You could do sliced apples, you could do some dried fruit, apricots, or some figs would be great, and just whatever cheeses you happen to like, and you're good to go. I love this tray for serving, and I will link that below. Creating a welcoming entryway is definitely nice for when you have guests. And you can do this by adding a scented candle. There are so many great scents for Thanksgiving and fall. But if you don't want to have a candle burning, maybe because young children are coming in or you don't have a lot of room in your entryway, LED candles are great. I have several of them on my entryway table. Just having a place for your guests to hang their jackets even if you don't have an entryway closet, just having a designated spot for them to put their coats or taking their coats when they enter, making it really cozy. You can do this with candles and nice pillows. I love this pillow that I got from JCPenney. It says gather, which is perfect for Thanksgiving. It's also great to have a clean bathroom when you have guests. I wanted to touch on this a little bit because I read a lot of comments, I talk to a lot of people, and a lot of people think that they have to have an immaculate home before they can invite anyone in, and that is not true. I like to have a clean home, I like to keep up with my cleaning routines, but we are different, we have different responsibilities, and you know, you don't need to feel if your home is not immaculate that you can't have anyone come over. But there are just a couple of things that I think are important. It is very nice to have a clean bathroom for your guests to use. So just wipe down the countertop, the sink, the faucet, make sure it's sanitary, wipe down the mirror and the toilet and toilet seat. You don't have to spend all day, but just making sure it's clean and then pick up anything that might be in the bathroom, like towels and clothing, if that's in there. And really, it shouldn't take you very long, but we know that when we go to someone's home or even use a public restroom, it's always nice when it is clean. It's also great to 
have a fresh dish towel and hand towels. So I am changing out my hand towels in the bathroom and these are also from JCPenney. They are Liz Claiborne. I have Liz Claiborne towels from JCPenney and they're so soft and cozy. So it's just nice to change out the bathroom hand towel so that it's not wet or dirty because obviously your guests are going to dry their hands and they want to use a clean, dry hand towel. It's also nice to make sure you have clean, unstained dish towels. I wash my dish towels all the time, but they do get stained and they just wear out. So I got this six pack of dish towels from JCPenney and they coordinate well with my decor and they're very absorbent, which is so important for a dish towel, but they don't always absorb, but these are great. I will link these below as well because a dish towel just doesn't look really clean if it's stained and we're going to have a lot of people in our kitchen. So we just wanna make sure that our dish towels are nice and fresh. It's also really helpful to clean as you cook. This is especially important on Thanksgiving when we are cooking many things, the kitchen can turn into a disaster in no time. I love to use a bowl on my countertop for garbage and this just keeps the countertop clean. You can even put a bag in the bowl so you can just toss everything in there, scraps, any junk that is going to be thrown away can just be put in there. You can take the bag, toss it, and then you don't even have to wash the bowl. I have that bowl specifically for garbage, so I don't ever use it for cooking. And then put any pots or pans or dishes that need to soak, knives, cutting boards, things that you're not going to put in the dishwasher right in the sink and everything else in the dishwasher. It's also really nice to run and unload your dishwasher before you have your main meal so that once you're done, you have a place to put all of the dirty dishes. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful for hosting Thanksgiving or any large meal really. Don't forget to check out JCPenney for all of the things that you need to make your table and your home beautiful for Thanksgiving. I will have the links below. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.